Hey friends, welcome back to the show. It has been a while. Yes. But we are back at it Way too and long. back together to bring you some yarny goodness. Right. I know. It's been entirely too long. Yeah. And especially we only live 30 minutes apart. So <laughs> Just stuff keeps coming up. Like I know. This and then this. I know. And then me being sick. Yeah. So I know. I'm she glad was you're like, <laughs> Yeah. I'm staying away. Yeah. Don't want your funk. <laughs> You better. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, the doctor had said that she thought it might be my gallbladder. Had an ultrasound done. It's not my gallbladder. <laughs> so I go see a GI on the 30th of September. Wow. See if they have any. But I'm, I'm feeling better. So maybe it was just some kind of virus. Yeah. Instead. Yeah. I don't wow. know. Well, I'm glad you're better. Yeah. Me but too. Get back together and yeah, all this goodness. Yes, yes. All right. Um, I guess introduce ourselves, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you can find me on Instagram as Nancy Drew seventy seven, and you can find me as I'll Love You on Instagram as well. And we are the Nitty Bitty Sisters. All right. Mm -hmm. So you want to start with the whips today? I can start us off. All right. Okay. And got my little kitty cat here trying to get into my stuff. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. First, we'll start off with this sock. Oh, man. I meant to grab a sock blocker. Blocking. Oh, well. That's fine. That's fine. I've got a PhD. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> that sounds fancy. Yes. Um, oh, and I have not started the second one. I oh. thought maybe I thought maybe I had. So, um, back, I want to say it was back in May that Crazy Sock Lady uh, Kay, she, I don't know if people had asked her, like, how long does it take you to make a pair of socks? You yeah. Know? So, she decided in her 30 minutes of knitting in the mornings that she would just time herself on one of them, on one sock, because, you know, multiply that by two. Right. There you go. Should be the same. And... I'll have to look back. I can't remember how long it took her, but I was like, oh my gosh. It's like Speedy Gonzalez there. <laughs> well, then I think it was like a few weeks later that um, Julianne mm -hmm. and another person had decided, hey, I want to see, you know, how fast it takes. And she said, does anybody else want to join along? So this was back in May, 1st of June. <laughs> And this is what? The last day of August. <laughs> Hello, I finally completed one. <laughs> but uh, I just, you know, kept track of the time, how long, you know, when I did pick it up, I would just mark, you know, how long it took yeah. me to knit. And uh, there you go, I've got one. They and come out so pretty. I know. I know she didn't mean to dye it to stripe yeah it just it just did it that's how it did it was so crazy yeah and the yarn i used y'all are gonna probably cry it's the twisted owl fiber studio in the colorway do, do, do. i think it's birds of a feather i think that's what it is yes yes Yes, birds of a feather. Anyway, Very so I got pretty. one done. Awesome. I posted on Instagram, but I cannot remember how long it took me. Almost seven hours. Yeah. I think that's right. Almost seven hours to do just one sock. Yeah. So multiply that. So almost 14 hours to do a pair of socks, which I was really shocked at myself. Were you? Because I'm like, it never takes me that long. I mean, it takes me a hundred years to knit a pair of socks. Right. Feels like it takes forever. But yeah. here I am scrolling on my phone. I'm like, oh yeah, well, get back to knitting. And I'm like, take a break and let's see, you know, right. <laughs> anything new posted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me get back on here. So yeah, I, I was really, really surprised that it didn't take that long to knit a pair of socks. That's crazy. Yep. Crazy, crazy. Yeah. All right, so what you got going? One of my sample shawls. 
my fancy project bag still. <laughs> um, so this one is the Summers in Shawl by Knitterella. We're using Rose Hill Yarn yarns. Rose Hill Yarns yarn. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I don't know how to how to show it. Perfectly um, matched colors. Yes. I yes, mean, it's beautiful. you couldn't get any better matching no. colors. She did. She did amazing with it. Yeah. So I'm on so um, the big lattice section. It's got the X's on it, but that that color just that's making me hungry right now <laughs> for cake. Yes. Blueberry. Cake. Some blueberry lemon cake. So that is the progress keeper from three, four weeks ago. <laughs> and then that is how much I've done. So now I am busting through. I'm trying to get it done. I know it should already be done, but it's not. So, but awesome. I'm loving it. It's beautiful. It's soft. Love it. Another one that you're going to cry to give away, huh? Yes. Or give back, should yes. say, not give away. Yeah. yeah. It is hard. People were warning me, oh, the thing about sample knitting, you won't want to give it back. And I was like, oh, it's fine. I can make one for me. No. <laughs> I don't want to give it away. Now you know what they're talking yeah. about, right? Now that yeah. they've grown, like this one's getting bigger and, and all that, I'm just like, yeah, I want to keep them. All right. But yeah. Yeah. I'll be good and I'll send them back to them. I guess for people that have already have like a ton of shawls or yeah. you know whatever the project may be yeah. it might be easier it to might be. give it up yeah okay interesting next okay. for you next is another sock <laughs> i know they're everybody's like what about your shawl <laughs> uh, it's coming it's coming um i can't even remember why oh yeah um, I was like, who, why am I starting these socks? Um, there again, Julianne Knitter yep. on Instagram. Her and Earth Tone Girls? It, I think so, Earth Tones Girl. Uh, Denise on Instagram as well. They are both co-hosting a knit a pair of socks in a week challenge. And so I was like, well, and I just got done, <laughs> you know, timing myself. I'm like, 14 hours okay surely. if I knit two hours a day on it surely I can knit a pair of socks in one week so I started Sunday which was here we are Tuesday <laughs> two days ago <laughs> yeah so and it was like Sunday evening so oh my goodness. Sunday evening Monday and then here we are Tuesday I haven't knit on it yet so that's just two days of knitting so on cute that. that is such great progress though holy cow you're just flying on it yeah well i thought okay i at least want to yeah this is uh this yarn oh oh no i thought i lost the um ball band but i did not i'm glad you have it's it still. not it's not that soft it's kind of Kind of toothy. Is yeah. that is that what they call it? Yeah. But I'm hoping that once, you know, I do like the wool soak or yeah. whatever, that it'll soften up. But I, I love the colors. Yes. I beautiful. think they're super cute. Yeah. So I was thinking of um, giving them to my mother-in-law as a Christmas gift. Anyway, this is uh, Barocco, I guess is how you pronounce it. The Barocco socks. It's 75% superwash wool. And 25% nylon, and I don't know what color it is. There's like no color. There's numbers. Yeah. 1411, I guess, or 7877. Those are the two numbers that's on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I got it 100 years ago. Oh, wow. So, no telling if it's still available or yeah. not. But anyway, yeah, but it's just so hopefully, it, yeah. it's all just one one ball right yeah it just fades to the yeah. next here's the i've got it all stripes. wound up into a cake it's very pretty it reminds me of easter eggs i know that's what but i was thinking die. too yeah 
r real like springy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's what it reminded me of too is Easter eggs. Too cute. Okay. What else you working on, ma'am? Okay. Um, um, a little while back, Happy Mermaid had sent us um, sparkle mini sets of their yarn. They're absolutely um, gorgeous. With Stellina in the in the yarn. Yes. And I have taken Beautiful. taken them and um, swatched swatched all five. There was five colors for mine, and I swatched them to see the fade. Right. Of it. Can I feel? Yes. It is. Oh my gosh. Even with that Stellina in there. Yeah. It is so very soft. I was trying to see if I could see the sparkle. So you got, um, this is one to five. The fade between one and two, they are very similar. Mm -hmm. um, so if I did, I was plan on doing socks, like stripy socks. I think I would split um, one of this one like down between the darker to oh, help okay. distinguish the the colors but that is that's gonna make some gorgeous socks yes I loved the purple and green ones mm -hmm. the two darker ones down here I was like oh I love it love it love it isn't it fun to knit with like speckled yarn and you can get to see the different specs of like it might only be one stitch or two stitches mm -hmm. of a certain that color, color. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I always see it now. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah. I know it, like that hot pink. Yes. Yeah. But it's very soft. It and, is. And that's she is really still. Soft. I'm sorry, not she. They. They. Heather mm -hmm. and Courtney are still offering a discount code, KBS15, mm -hmm. to get 15% off any purchase of their store. Yep. So make sure and run over there. It goes through the 6th I believe that's right September okay. 6th so mm -hmm. just a few more days but hurry up go over there and get some of their yarn and they've released have you seen some of their newest um, releases of their yarn no I, oh my God. I have not even been on hardly that much this, oh yeah the past your, few days I've been time socks <laughs> yeah can't be online while you're knitting socks mm -hmm. But um, since I've been back to work, it's like. I know, it's just your night's gone by the time you get dinner. And yeah. And <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> On my time off from being sick. <laughs> cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, <laughs> cha ching. <laughs> I got some packages coming. <laughs> so you've been on Etsy instead of Instagram, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I start on Instagram and then. Go over to the shop. Yeah. yeah. So I'll have to go look. I've been noticing several dyers with their fall colors. I'm like, oh, I want to get it so bad. I know. I, there's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, okay, like and keep going. I can't just, I can't, I can't. I would be buying everybody's. We need to go win the lottery. Yes. So then we can just buy all the yarn. Yes. Right? Right. Support all of them. Yeah. Sorry, kids, you gotta move out. I gotta have the <laughs> your rooms to. <laughs> I gotta have my yarn room. <laughs> Get out. yarn rooms. Yeah, rooms. Or or move and yeah. have a basement. Yeah, or something. Something. Yeah, to have all the yarn. Right. But anyway. <laughs> all right. No kidding. So that's all my whips. Okay. And I've got one more. And Ooh. you guessed it. It's my shawl. And. I really feel like I did quite a bit of progress on it since last podcast. Can't wait to see. Even though I finished one sock and started on another one. Da da da. Okay. <laughs> Unfold the goodness. Okay. Here we go. We're on this side. Okay, y'all. Mm. Oh, man. It just keeps going. Yes. Okay, so where's my marker? Here's my marker. <laughs> so I did. You done a ton. All of that. Hopefully that didn't whack you in the No, it was oh, in yeah. the hand. Okay. So oh I was on goodness. this garter section. 
So then I did the blending after that. There's my middle bees okay. section. Okay. And it's so, a little wider than that one. So from there, that that's going to be half. The from middle. There, yeah. It's going to be a good size. You think so? Yes. Plus, once it's blocked, it'll, you know, it'll stretch. stretch some more. Yeah. But I just started the honeycomb section. Let's do some hair here. Your next, so, your next yes. honeycomb. Gotcha. So I'm there. Oh um, my I goodness. just started that. So I just have that much to go to be done. Woohoo! I know, woohoo. I'm like, hallelujah. <laughs> Don't put it up yet. I might, I might be done. The next time we podcast? Is that what you were going to say? Maybe. <laughs> or we or real close. Else? Well, I was just thinking, you know, all the fall knits, you know, you can do the, I don't know. Like there's there's stuff? yes yeah. there's so many i'm like oh huh, i want to do that one like um jennifer the craft of pearl they're doing a muscleburg hat yeah or muscle burrow what how do you pronounce that yeah. anyway they're doing they're doing a cow yeah yep yeah. her and we share needles okay i couldn't remember who i knew they were co-hosting the knit along um Stephanie with Farmstead Knits. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Mm -hmm. And she is doing a birthday knit along starting on Saturday, which that will come in acquisitions. I'll show you. <laughs> um, she's a bad girl. She, she uh, made me do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but there's several that I saw and I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I could do that and do that. Oh, and then there's the gnome knit along that's six, fixing to come up. I can't remember yeah. when it starts, yeah. but I bought the pattern. Did you? <laughs> Cause, uh, Patty Joy with, um, she's the socks therapist, uh -huh. S-O-X yep. therapist, yep. the one that's famous for the fish lips kiss heel. Um, anyway, she had posted on her stories that she was going to do gonna... that. And awesome. I said, I'm so tempted. And she sent me the link. She said, here you go. <laughs> you don't even have so... to go find it. It's right here. <laughs> right. Yeah. She's like, here it is. So of course I went and bought the pattern and oh, he's got a yarn. No, not, not yarn. I'm, I'm sure I've got enough yarn oh, okay. for him, okay, okay. but He's got a couple buddies too. Oh, okay. A couple. I bought a couple more gnome patterns. <laughs> <laughs> too funny. Oh, and um, forgot to mention that I am using Willow Tree Yarn. She graciously reached out to me to do the um, yarn support for this shawl design, and I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I cannot speak any more highly mm -hmm. of this yarn it is incredibly soft and it's awesome awesome oh uh, can i have a whole bodysuit yeah made just yes yeah, there yeah. you go there you go <laughs> then i have all kinds of squishiness wrapped all around me you just be like giving yourself hugs all day long all right what are you doing anymore? i know i know like, oh, well and it's squishy i'll have even more kids hugging me at school because they already give me hugs, run up, and they're like, oh, hi, and then give me hugs that just, oh yes. my gosh, that yes. just touches my heart. And, then they'll, and they'll be like, oh, you're really soft. I know. <laughs> they'll be hanging on me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to leave. All right. Can I just cuddle up and sleep on you? Yeah. Yeah. Be buried by kids. <laughs> oh my gosh. Today, um, talking about buried. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We were uh, down on, there was uh, time at the end of one of the lessons, so they had time to do whatever. So um, the little girl, one of the little girls that I help, um, we got on the floor. She loves, loves, loves doing puzzles. So we were doing puzzles, and this one little boy, he was in there. He was having break time just to, like, Chill, calm, yeah, yeah, calm down. Calm down. 
So, you know, I'm down here bent over <laughs> doing the puzzle and he gets on my back and he's like peeking. He's like peeking around my head like this. Yeah. Can you see me? I'm like, yeah, I can see. You. <laughs> I was like, peekaboo, peekaboo. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. All right. Yep. I think that's, that's all your whip. Yep. Okay. Well, you know what, Yvonne? Drum roll. I can't do it. <laughs> I have empty needles. So excited. Just wait. I can't wait to see it. Um, you guys know if you've seen any of my stuff, you know I've been uh, sample knitting for April of Fuzzy Fibers. Mm -hmm. She sent me yarn and I made her the My Chrysalis Shawl by Lavanya Patricella. And it is done. Woo -woo. Oh my gosh. That is. Look at all that gorgeousness. <gasps> it's actually upside down, but. Oh. You get the gist of it. Oh it's huge. God. Let me. I'll, have, I'll put it on. And, but um, it is considered. I would consider it uh, reversible. Yes, definitely. This side with the um, Surrey showing more, or this side with the Merino showing more. I love it. it so is. yeah, this one absolutely gorgeous. I, I April colors are amazing. I'm, I'm struggling really hard to get it to the, to the post office. Yeah. I want to keep it. That's like giving away one of your babies. I know. Holy cow. This is just like super soft. It's light and airy. Yeah. It's not thick, heavy. And I know, I'm sure this is lovely watching me actually do this instead of stepping off screen, but. Is it look? Is it look okay? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but it's it's huge. Yeah. It's, it did use one whole skein so of Surrey. I had a break into the second one just for a little bit, and then I want to say probably three quarters of the skein of the merino of the wool. Um, just one. Yeah. Skein of it. Yeah. Okay. So there was only one. So that that's. I have, I didn't weigh this. I weighed, I did weigh the Surrey, but I didn't weigh this. Um, but I would yeah. say that might even be half. I'm not sure. Probably a little over half. Yeah. To have used. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's a great, great show. Probably like what you said. Probably three quarters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Oh my goodness. It's just like. So beautiful. I took it to the shop to get pictures of it. I saw that. Um, a couple and of she ladies. didn't come see me. That's when I um, thought you had the funk. <laughs> and you were busy going with your doctor visit and everything. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And you had to get back to go to yeah, work. I had yeah. to go to work that day. So I was like, rush down, get pictures. I know. As soon as she said, back. went to the yarn junkie, I was like, what about me? Where was I? You didn't Hello? include me? It feels like it's fallen. Maybe not. Um. But there was a, besides Angie and Britt that were there, another lady walked up and she's like, she wanted to buy it straight off of me. She's like, how much do you charge for this? I was like, uh, it's not for sale. I got to send it back. Yeah. But yeah, they were feeling it. And, uh, oh. But anyway. Awesome. It would probably go better with your shirt than mine. I don't know. But yeah. That's so pretty. So, so So pretty. I had to show it. She is one lucky girl. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. So I had to show you guys before I shipped it out. I'm going to have to ship it out um, if I can get to the post office before work tomorrow. They're already closed tonight. Yeah. Um, if I can get it shipped out. But anyway, within the next couple of days, it'll go to its, its home. But that's all. My awesome, awesome. Finish. And up. I just thought of something. Did you say? No, that's acquisition. <gasps> okay. Yes. Okay. For another time. Yeah. <laughs> right. Do you want to start the next uh, section of acquisitions? Acquisitions. I guess so. Um. 
I guess maybe I wasn't as bad as I thought while I was sick. <laughs> I got <laughs> is stuff still like in ship yeah. shipment mode. I've got one, two, three, three more packages coming. <laughs> no yarn. <laughs> so at least that's good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the first one, Knit Life Oils. Mm, yeah. Katie yeah. Mm -hmm. on Instagram. Um, she had posted some of her um, beaded bracelets that she made. Kind of like that. Like there's some bigger beads and some smaller beads. And it's kind of like the, what is it called? Like an a, a abacus? Bacus? Yes. Abacus. Abacus. Uh -huh. um, where you move your beads, like the smaller ones, there's nine there. And then once you got all those over, then you'd move one of these up instead, and that would be 10. And then 11, 12, up to 19, and then there's 20. Hmm. Anyway, I thought those were so cute, and yeah. I've always wanted one. Yeah. So I was bad, and I got hot pink, and then my favorite color is like aqua turquoise. So I got two. Too cute. I couldn't decide. Yeah. So I just went ahead and got both of them. But yeah. So I got those from her. So this little thing slides over. Yeah, it's kind of stretchy, the little thing right there. So you would like pop a bead mm. on. Gotcha. I don't know if I could do it one-handed. <laughs> With it on your on your on, wrist. On my wrist, yeah. yeah. So you would just pop, you know, all nine of the little ones through, and then you would start with that being the next okay, big one. That would be 10, and then gotcha, start yeah. over with the little ones. But anyway. Neat. Such That's a so neat cute. idea. Yes. And pretty jewelry to yes. boot. Yes. Yep. Two, so that four. was one of my acquisitions. Okay. What have you? Yeah. Yes. I've got yes. yes, I've got some. I was I was bad too. <laughs> I'm not the only one. <laughs> You're rubbing off on me. Well, I felt that I was like, I got those and the house and the So Yeah. <laughs> I got I got some stuff. Awesome. Um so I got a bag from the knitted soiree. It is it um, I seen it on gorgeous. Thank you. So pretty. I, I love it. Mm -hmm. um, little monkeys and me, and she was showing it, and so I went to see. I was like, "Well, I already." When I looked her up, I was like, "Oh, I already follow her." Yeah. And I seen that she was having a shop update, and I was like, oh, "No, no." And then it just, it just, I couldn't get it out of my head. So I was yeah. like, "Yes." <laughs> and it's, um, I don't know. It makes me think like Victorian. Victorian style, maybe. I don't know, just older. I don't know. I don't know how to explain like what English or something. Maybe, like yeah. A, like an English cottage. Maybe. So it's got um, it's got all my stuff in here from the um, knitted swatch, but she includes a um, D ring that is stitched into the side of the bag, and she included some light bulb stitch markers on cool. there and I took she had a sticker so I made me a little thing put it in there um, the insides polka dot super cute drawstring boxed bottom and love it love it I had um, got it my intended purpose was to replace this <laughs> Project. Fancy project bag, <laughs> but um, it come out. It's more of a sock size, a single skein yeah. project. Yeah. So um, the next socks that I make, I'm gonna add to this bag. But I love it. It's cute. Mm -hmm. Super cute. A little drawstring action. I love it's it. Super super cute. Talking about bag update. Who? Ah, uh, pink, pink out. out. Yes. <laughs> I, I didn't even look at hers. <laughs> no. I did. I saw it on there on her stories. Oh. There's one that I want. 
really, really bad. Yeah. I'm going to have to look at them. She's like, I can put it aside for you. I said, no. I said, <laughs> if, do it, Trish. Do it. <laughs> I'm like, if it's. If it's still there when I get off work, because it's at like 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. The, her launch is? Uh, the update. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so, I'm like, I'll just have to wait and. So, you have to wait till after work After tomorrow. work. Yeah. So, I'll probably hop in the car and I'll look. <laughs> She'll get straight and if to it's, her phone. And if it's still, if one, because she said there's several sizes in that particular pattern. Gotcha. If it's still available, then. I know it was meant to be. <laughs> then I can go ahead and order it. <laughs> Too funny. So, yeah. We shall see if I get it or not. Um, But my other one. I'll choose this one. Okay. Um, I had ordered this one quite a while ago. I can't even remember I remember when. you talking about. Like back uh -huh. in June, maybe? Maybe. Maybe early July. Something. Anyway. Yeah, it's been a while, yeah. Uh, Desert Vista Dye Works. The um, Summer Sock Camp colorway. Mm -hmm. so, summer, actually, Summer Sock Camp 2021 colorway. There we go. Um, I, I kept seeing... That is really soft. It is. Oh, my goodness. I know. Really soft. I kept seeing people's socks being knit up and the stripes because when I first saw it I thought they were like more bold uh -huh. but then when I saw them knit up they were more on the muted side and yeah. oh, I just fell in love I was like I've got to, got get to have it so good I finally got me one so I can't wait to knit that up but that might have to be probably next year but I got it. Good deal. So pretty. I'm glad pretty. you were able to get it before yes, she was done before, with it. I know. Before they got done with it. Okay. All right. So back a couple weeks ago, the first Saturday of August, Madeline Tosh mobile van came to our <laughs> our local yarn shop in Westmoreland, <laughs> the yarn junkie. Yeah. And um, so it's bad when you ask to get time off like I even I still work that work day there. but I was like hey can I can I work the night shift so I can go to the to this yarn sale yeah <laughs> pretty bad but anyway we we uh, went over there and met up and went to the see what they had um, because the yarn store has their yarn but the van has one of a kind mm -hmm. um, and right. different things like that right. so we went to see what they had and I had already had um, gotten some Madeline Tosh from the shop, the Golden Pecan and the Red Fox. And so I found for this weight of yarn, I had found a pattern and I needed a second skein. So I picked up a second skein. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you remember, we did. It's like you can't see it now because it was in a story, but. I did actually pick up a different skein of the Red Fox. And I was going to do the whole shawl in that mm -hmm. and just color work in brown. And I thought, no, I thought better against it. So I was like, no. So um, the ladies at the shop were very kind enough to let me swap that out. I, it was still packaged. It was, mm -hmm. still, had, it was still in the bag. I hadn't even touched it yet. So I was like, hey, can I swap that out? So I got, so the majority of the shawl will be this color. Okay. And then um, I had picked so this is colorway is just one of a kind. Um, it is only found on the Madeline Tosh mobile van, um, but it's green. I love the halo on it. Yes, it is fifty percent so superwash merino wool with fifty percent baby alpaca. Mm -hmm. That belly, belly fur. Yep. But um, okay. I'm going to make a hat for my husband with this color. Awesome. So. Very soft. Very soft. 
so sweet of you to give him that good stuff. Oh no. <laughs> I'll just be rubbing his head. Yeah. <laughs> be like, oh, come here, honey. Yeah. Or or like, what are you doing, crazy woman? I know. I might wear it every now and again, but make him a beanie. Awesome. So sweet. Yes. He and is. He is knit worthy. Awesome. Good. Good. <laughs> and um, that same trip. Here are my acquisitions from that. Mm -hmm. um, same yarn as the green. Yeah. Only on the Mad Tosh Mobile. <laughs> whoop, whoop. And there again, another one of a kind. But I grabbed two of them because I think they were 50 gram. Mm -hmm. I don't see where this it's is 200 says. yards. Yeah. I'm assuming it's 50 grand because it was 200 yards. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Because it's a three. So it's a DK. Mm hmm So, who knows? But I got yeah. two. Good deal. I got two purples. Any plans for that yet? Um, no. <laughs> no. At least, at least you're good. You've got... You know, ideas. Idea. I don't have a pattern yet, but I yeah. do have an idea about it. Yeah, you've got patterns. And then <laughs> I also got another, let's see, this one's Tosh Merino Light, 100% Superwash Merino Wool, and it's a uh, single ply. So, 420 yards of, I already said, didn't I? 100% mm -hmm. yeah. Superwash. Anyway, gray, and Very it's like pretty. all those bright, greens and I love that pop of bright green right in there orange definitely won't be socks but I don't know what yeah I don't know what yet but just that pop of that bright green against that gray just said take me home yep buy me yes and I mean you even knew I was like I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it I almost didn't get it. But. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got another. And I just have one more. So I have one Courtney with Rita May Yarns and Joan. Sorry, I don't remember her Instagram name. I don't know. Okay, do, you okay. know do you know it? The, the lady that does uh, Thursday night. It's a knit night. Oh, it's uh, J J Wingate. Yes, I think there might be a number There's on there. Numbers. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what. But, but they yeah. had done. Joan had done. She um, I won off of hers. Um, the giveaway that uh, was a, a gift card for Courtney's um upcoming launch that she was going to be doing and awesome. she did the random number thing and um i was chosen and so awesome. um courtney had did her launch and i looked through and i was like oh, oh, oh. i wanted several of them <laughs> like that uh, and that i know it we would be that that. dirt poor living in a cardboard box oh, if we no. spent all of our i know it <laughs> so i was it had to be good and then I seen, I was like, okay, just one. But then she had a mystery skein, mystery mini skein that you could make um, to go along with okay, yours like for a sock, sock set. set. Yeah. Cool. And this Enough is Pines and Aero, Pines and Acorns is the main skein. Awesome. And then I love the name. That, she just said she'll throw a, a brown in there because I, um, I asked her this would be uh, Ooh, socks for David. That's really so soft. She said too. she'll throw a manly color in there, and it, the brown matches with the brown in the in the main skein. And that is. I love that. That's so so it is. I, I was very pleased with it. Mm -hmm. Um, seventy-five percent superwash merino, twenty-five percent nylon, mm -hmm. four hundred sixty-three yards for the the main and then that's your 20 gram mini awesome. very soft very soft mm -hmm. so I was that is very that thankful really nice. that giveaway and that's awesome
to be a winner. Yeah. A giveaway Thank because you. there's like I know. Umpteen <laughs> people that Yeah. So when you're chosen to be a winner, I mean it's like winning the lottery, right? right? Yes, <laughs> the yarn lottery. <laughs> <laughs> um talking about soft yarn. Mm -hmm. Um there again, going back to Stephanie with uh, Farmstead Knits. Yeah. She's doing, she had posted the yarn that she got and said that she had decided her birthday is on Saturday. And she wants to do a birthday cast on, knit along on, for Saturday. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, that yarn is gorgeous. I think I got the last one. Did you? <laughs> because I want to say it was like one left or just a few left. Yeah. But anyway. Too so cool. Um, it's uh, Granite State Yarns. Right. Oh, so pretty. And I believe it's Lauren that um, does that. Anyway, the name of it is Treasured Friends. I just thought that was so cool. I believe that they she had dyed it for, for the between knits and pearls uh -huh. podcast um so like their personal Emily colorway and stephanie yes yeah. and i thought that was really cool it is very cool but i just love the name treasure yeah. friends that is and oh, i feel how that is so soft. is that just the two nylon and wool yeah yeah the 75% oh superwash merino was soft like that one. And the 25% nylon. Yeah. Comes with the little mm. raspberry 20 gram mini Cute. for a sock set. And I think she said she was going to um, cast on a shawl. And I'm not sure what I'm going to cast on yet. But I'll wind it up and get it ready because we go on vacation on Saturday. Oh. So, so you got to have some projects to work on. Yes. That is awesome. Especially ones that I don't have to think about. Like right. my shawl. Right. There's areas that I'm like, oh, I just need quiet or whatever so I can just. Let me just knit. Yeah. Work on it. Yeah. So I need ones that it doesn't matter. Right. That they're mobile ready. Yep. Yeah. That's all I have. That's all my goodies. All today. right. Okay. Until was... my other packages come in. <laughs> that was bad. So you have a bunch. <laughs> She's the one that has a bunch <laughs> today. <laughs> but it was cheap. Does that help? Does that help with your acquisitions if yes. they're cheap? <laughs> yes. If they're on sale and you're getting them, not cheap, inexpensive. I'm sorry. Inexpensive. That, that's a better word. It's a better word. Yes. I think it's so. Not, I don't think it's bad yarn. It's not cheap, like, yarn-wise. Yeah. Okay, so, I've seen this yarn in the, I've, I've come uh, quite, can't think of the word. I know where the clearance section is <laughs> at, at a quite certain familiar. store. Yeah. There's the word. <laughs> Very familiar with it, yeah. <laughs> and I swung by, and I, like, I look over, and I see if there's, any any yarn in the clearance section and there was a lot and I was like what is going on so I went over there and I was looking and I was seeing this yarn and I asked I was like hey what's going on with this she's like they were having their lot sale like their like one lot left one of each lot number left okay so they they reduce them to get rid of them they still carry the color but they just get rid of the single lot pieces okay so, because when they get the new lot, it might be off uh -huh. just a tiny little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I bought some. <laughs> some. <laughs> she can make a sweater. <laughs> yes, that was the intention. <laughs> okay. That is gorgeous. So, this is Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek DK. Um, really quick. I don't know what I feel bad about letting you see the sale price, but I have got a ton I know. of that same yarn. So 
maybe we need to because I got some other colors to do like maybe a color work oh, like uh -huh. yoke or something. Uh -huh. Maybe we could do something like that as a knit along. Yeah. This is um peacock. That color is pretty in peacock. That is gorgeous. I love that yes, color. It is very pretty. So I got um four of those. Four of that color. <laughs> yeah. Um, Holy cow. That is inexpensive. I was gonna say cheap. Very very inexpensive. Um, That's this awesome. is some. This is called cedar, but it looks to me, my mind would think brown, but yeah. it's more uh, charcoaly. Yeah, it's not quite black, right? But it's charcoaly. Yeah, and oh, then the um, color. pretty pretty, and then the off white ivory is that name, the off white. So my plan with it, um, you already have. A I do have a pattern, pattern and idea. it's color work. It is called J Sweater by Rachel Brockman. That's DK. Uh huh. Yeah. Awesome. So it's got the ribbing at the collar is color wet, like the would be the white, and then some color work, and then um, the ribbing at the sleeves is the color work color, and then the rest is just the, will be the blue. Yeah. But beautiful. I I'm gonna have to alternate the skeins because they are slightly different. Mm. But um, I did ask. Um, a friend, Jessica, um, if she had ever done multiple lots, and she's like, well, it'd be the same as um, hand-dyed yarn, and just alternate it, and she recommended helix knitting. Have you ever tried that yet? Where you, it's like a special way to make it a jogless mm -hmm. stripe. Yeah, where you're running uh -huh. two at the same time, uh -huh. multiple. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to try it that way, and Hopefully it'll be, I don't want to strut, like, I don't want to have like five or 10 rows of one color. I don't want an obvious stripe. Right. Just enough to. That would, that would probably work no. great. You wouldn't be able to see that color difference as bold as, like you said, 10 rows. And then, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right. Awesome. That's all my acquisitions. We do have, um. We do have some more acquisitions, but that was is a gift. Do you want me to show that? Or do you have any more to show? Oh, I have zero. I'm okay. Done. I'm done. All right. Jen from Hand Stitched Life had messaged us, and I, I seen it and I responded. She asked if she could send us some Progress Keepers and Stitch Markers. Awesome. And so. Thank you so much. Yes. I mean, oh, incredibly sweet. Very, yes, very sweet. And so. Yeah. She's like, okay, yeah, I'll send them within the next couple weeks or so. And they came in the mail today. Perfect timing for yes, this podcast. Right. All right, so Jen from Hand Stitch Life had sent these. And so a little heart, a little um, glittery heart, progress keeper. And on the back side has got all these oh different my gosh, so cute. little stitch stitch markers. I love those. I love those kind of stitch markers too. Yes. Oh, wow. A little Starbucks car, uh, cup with the little rings. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Super cute. Aren't these cute? A uh, little mushroom. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> with the rings. So cute. A star. A little one of those macaron cookies. All right, and this little moon, the star, and some more rings. Sorry, stitch markers. And then this one, isn't that gorgeous? That is Look at that. beautiful. Little feather, but it's beaded. It, yeah, it's beaded work. And it's like she, she makes them. She makes these things. Oh, she my has a gosh. shop, and it'll be linked below. Wow, that is amazing. Isn't that? I wow. Just thought, how that generous. How yes. generous ever to send yes. these. So thank you so yes. much, Jen. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. But that is all I have That's for today. all I've got. Yep. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. And please like this video. 
And if you're not already subscribed, please do so. So you will be notified when we record again. Yep. Thank you. Bye. Happy knitting. Feels like forever. Again. Again. It's been a while. Well, it's been longer than three, I think. Has but it? Maybe. Because... Okay, let's put them inside. <laughs> One little hair. It's good. Because it was like right on your eye, eye lid. Oh. Poke me? Yeah. I didn't feel it. Oh, okay. Sorry. Usually I do. Usually I feel any little hairs. Mm-hmm. Poke me. I'm like, okay, I don't know what that is. Okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Sorry. You got, the, you got the wiggles already? Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. All excited? Well, because... Those kids kind of amp me up too, so. Get you going. Yeah. Well, good. Maybe they gave me some of their energy. Finally. Took a little bit. Yeah. Get into the rhythm. Yeah. Had to be there a few weeks to soak in their energy. Yeah. <laughs> too funny. Sorry, I should have already had this done. Still have that fancy project bag. Yeah. I could probably transfer it. Now that that one's done, I can just transfer it over. Yeah. So I don't have this huge Every bag. Everybody will miss your they fancy, will. fancy project bag. They oh. will. <laughs> Food lion, lion on there. I know. He's so cute. <laughs> the lady I got that bag from, she, yeah. she meant to send me a Ziploc baggie, sandwich baggie for my notions bag. To go with like a little snack it's, it's, size. Yeah, a Ziploc bag to go with that bag. <laughs> Notions. It's like, oh, too funny. That would have been Oh, hilarious. that would have been hilarious, yeah. Yeah. Too funny. Okay. You have a finished object? A I have, hoe. I have a hoe. Or somebody had commented on my page, or when I you posted post. that, uh -huh. yeah. And she said something about a PhD, and I said, that sounds awesome. Way better than a hoe. <laughs> What's a PhD? Um, Partially? No. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Okay, we're all wanting to know what a PhD is now. <laughs> PhD. Something. Project half done, I think. That, I think, does, that I think does sounds better than a I hoe. I think that's right. I think that's right. Um. I was right. Project half done. Project half done. Heather. Craft nut. Yeah. I told her that sounds way better than a oh. hoe. So, oh, will you hold that up? Yeah. And I want to hold this one up and then make sure it's the right side. Okay. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> I just hold it in <laughs> pose. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> yes. All right, too too funny, and f just feel how s yes. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness! I am gonna so enjoy awesome. cuddling it or like having it just draped around your neck. Yes, yeah, I love it. I, know. I love it. I it's love gorgeous. It, love it.